Hey traders, Chris Vermeulen here, and I've got your trader tip of the day. Now, a few weeks ago, I was on uh, Business First AM with Angela Miles, and I was talking about a couple of sectors that were looking pretty interesting. And, and this, uh, I'm going to show you a chart here of the one that, uh, two of them that I actually like. And if we take a look here, you can see the ARC W. Um, ARKW is the symbol. This is the next generation internet stocks. And obviously we are in uh, internet rich environment for all businesses and people to communicate even just with friends and family. So this sector has, has been on fire. If you look at it from the March lows, it has had a significant run up over 300%. And if we were to take a look at the most recent price action, Angela and I had been talking about this and we've seen a pretty good run from when I talked about it a few weeks ago. It's up roughly eight and a half percent or so um, as of today. And it looks like it still has a lot of upside momentum behind it. I think we could see another five or 10% as this price continues to rise. So it's one sector that I think is, is leading the way and has some more upside. Now, something that's not quite as exciting as the next generation, take a look at the XLU, utilities sector. Now, if we were to just kind of look at the more recent price action here, and we can we can see that there's a basing formation. We can go right pretty much across here. There's a pretty strong line in the sand. Whoops, let me just grab that again. There's a, a basing formation right through here. Um, you could argue uh, it's more so, I'll do another one right here. This is a, a rounding formation where prices come down and start to work itself up. It's trying to break out of this blue box. And what utilities do is they tend to, um, they'll tend to break out and start to rally and outperform the SP500 um, potentially for a week or three weeks um, before the stock market actually has some type of um, bigger pause or correction. And so we're keeping our eye on utilities because they're really a good warning, early warning indicator as to what's going on. Now, if utilities can break free, break above this blue box, I think we're going to go up and we're going to see some pretty significant gains from the lower end of this range uh, to the upper end is roughly about 5%. So if we were to see this start to break out, we could see it go another 5%, which happens to be right into these previous highs right over here where the market pushed up through it and then got slammed, tagged it, sold off, got close to it, it got sold off again. So just based on this momentum here and the size of this base, that is where the next target is. And if we start to see utilities run up to that level, then um, we better be really wary about where the stock market's going because if we zoom back on the chart and take a look what happened back here in just zoom back a bit. We'll go right here. We saw utilities do very similar price action where it was building this base. It had rallied up and then built this base, just like where we had seen um, over the last six months uh, currently. And then, of course, when it broke to the upside, it, we just saw utilities take off and post huge gains. They're outperforming the SP 500. It was outperforming the NASDAQ at some point. Um, just a massive move. And then, uh, and then we saw this final kind of exhaustion push to the upside. And then we saw the COVID crash um, take effect and completely uh, crush the market. Now, utilities are not a safe haven. They are a defensive play. When people get nervous, they move into them. And it's usually the big smart money moves into these sectors to, to be defensive, get a dividend, get into some somewhere where there's some potential because they're moving out of the highly leveraged plays, going into the more boring defensive uh, utility sector. And then the market sells off. Really, most things are not immune to the stock market crashing. So while some people hold on to stocks, we move to cash and sometimes we profit during the collapse. But um, this is what we're looking for, is the market to rally and rise utilities with the stock market and for utilities to start outperforming the stock market. That is going to be the, uh, the red flag to tighten stops on any open positions we have um, or at positions that uh, you may have and uh, be very defensive. Anyways, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight of what to look for over the next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.